Well, uh, the debate was uneventful. Uh, it was a lot more civil than likely it should have been, given the mountainous number of lies that J.D. Vance said. I mean, the guy is pretty, pretty smooth. And my God, he can lie and look you straight in the eye. But, you know, the one thing that stood out in that debate was when Tim Walls asked J.D. Vance the most important question with regards to the election. Did Trump lose the last election? And J.D. Vance proved that he's a pansy like all the other MAGA folks that are completely, completely fearful of Donald Trump, that they cannot tell the truth that Donald Trump doesn't want them to tell. Listen to this and we'll take it on the other side. He is still saying he didn't lose the election. I would just ask that. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to, that is a damning non-answer. Has she, it's a damning non-answer for you to not talk about censorship. Obviously, Donald Trump and I think that there were problems in 2020. We've talked about it. I'm happy to talk about it further. Senator, the governor does have the floor for one minute to Please. respond to you. Yeah, well, I don't run Facebook. What I do know is, is I see a candidate out there who refused. And now again, and this, I'm pretty shocked by this. He lost the election. This is not a debate. It's not, it, it, it's not anything anywhere other than in Donald Trump's world. Because look, when Mike Pence made that decision to certify that election, that's why Mike Pence isn't on this stage. What I'm concerned about is where is the firewall with Donald Trump? Where is the firewall if he knows he could do anything, including taking an election, and his vice president's not going to stand to it. That's what we're asking you, America. So, yes, yes, this is the part of the debate. The only thing in the debate that really stood out. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.